thanks for joining us tonight. We're going to be playing the Adventure Zone Bureau of Balance game. I'm Hello, Jen Ellis. I'm the co-designer of this game, along with my playing. partner in crime, Keith Baker. Keith, are you excited? I am super excited. <laughs> uh, I, I love, always love your excitement. Uh, so this is our first live stream playthrough. Um, so I'm a little nervous. I'm not sure about you, Keith. Um, and we wanted to just surprise folks who might be um, sharing with us or have just um, subscribed to our channel. Uh, and we're going to be announcing uh, early next week all of our other dates that we have lined up for this series. Um, we made this uh, game together with the McElroy family as a way for fans and their friends to join in and be a part of the Bureau of Balance world, um, even if they don't know much about the podcast or the graphic novel series. Uh, we call it a cooperative storytelling game, uh, and it's just our way uh, to describe an RPG that's light, card-driven, uh, story-focused, and doesn't require a GM. Many of you are watching are big fans of the Adventure Zone. All what, eight of you, 10 of you? <laughs> uh, but Keith, how 19. would you- 19, all right. Um, how have you, uh, Keith, how would you describe the Adventure Zone to someone who might've just somehow dropped in or is listening in on somebody else's stream? <laughs> uh, well, I will take a, a page from the rule book for the game. Oh, and literal say, page, okay. Yes, and say, <clears throat> Rising above the world are two moons. Well, just one moon, actually. The other one is the well-disguised headquarters of the Bureau of Balance, which you can see here on the screen. Led by the director, Lucretia, the Bureau is dedicated to tracking down relics, powerful magic items that could cause untold destruction if they fall into the wrong hands. The bad news, there's a lot of wrong hands out there. There are countless villains just itching to get a hold of those relics. The good news, that's you. Your heroes and Madam Director is sure that you've got what it takes to reclaim the relics and save the world. Well, sh sure is a strong word. You know, generally optimistic, maybe. You know, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> so get ready, Reclaimers. The new mission is just around the corner. The world needs you. But don't worry. You're going to be amazing. Yay. All right. So we've invited a couple of friends over to play the game with us tonight. Uh, Lauren and Rashad, welcome. Hey, good to be Hello. here. Hi. Great to now, be here. We know you all because you are part of our advanced pre-order and you also signed up to help us play test the game. So uh, I've played the game with you like six months ago um, mm -hmm. as part of our play test and we just got along really well. And I thank you so much for uh, coming down and playing. And we won. And, and we won. won. Ah. Yeah. And we, won. we got to go back to base and have like something at the gas, the, at the uh, check and squeeze. And uh, <laughs> it was yeah. great. Yeah. Uh, well, hopefully we can do that again tonight. Uh, okay. So before we get into your characters and jump into the game, uh, Lauren, uh, tell us one good thing that's happened in the last six months for you. Hey. Um, well, the best thing that's happened in the past six months is definitely um, I got a puppy. Yes. His name is Quill. He's named after um, Peter Quill, Star-Lord. Nice. And uh, he's just like the best thing that's happened to me. And I get to snuggle up with him now. So makes of course. course Star pup. <laughs> uh, Rashad, how are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing, I'm doing really, really well. Um, right. Great things have happened to me too. I don't have a puppy, but you know, things are still good. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, are, go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. Oh, I was, it was one of the best things that happened to me is I've gotten to play so much Dungeons and Dragons because of quarantine. And so I've been playing nonstop. I've been DMing nonstop. I've been teaching other people how to play Dungeons and Dragons nonstop. There was a point I was teaching a class, DMing, and playing in two games a week. Like it's all I. Uh, my wife hates me now, but other than that, <laughs> everything was great. Well, have you gotten her into playing at all, or no? She will not, no. All right, well, maybe she'll play this game with you. Um, yeah, I think I think you can get her to play with us. All right, good, cool. Uh, so are y'all ready to play? I think so. Do you think you're ready to play? I am, I'll be in the chat, everybody. All right, see ya. 
Uh, <laughs> you just can't come out. <laughs> boom. Thank you. Bye. 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 Uh, all right. So um, welcome to the Adventure Zone game. Um, we have played this before. I'm going to give some rules as we go so we can kind of jump into the game. But let's just first talk about um, what the game, uh, the object of the game is. So the game is a, um, uh, we call it a storytelling, a cooperative storytelling game uh, because it doesn't have a GM. Uh, so I'm going to be a... Uh, team lead, but I'm also going to be playing. Uh, if you're playing D&D a lot, the GM is someone who is um, kind of owns the story, if you will, and is guiding people. But what we're doing is just making the story together as the three of us. So it's a little bit more cooperative. I'm not owning the story or owning a path. I'm, uh, we're all just kind of creating that together. Uh, the only thing that differs me between everyone else is I am uh, someone who's supposed to be an expert on the rules and help people with prompts in their stories if they need to. Um, so the object of the game is for us as a group of reclaimers. So we're kind of like the Bureau's B team, if you will. There's that A team that almost all of us know, but we're like the B team. This is one of our first missions together. Um, and your mission is composed of three decks, uh, a relic deck, a villain deck, and a location deck. Um, the relic deck is the most important because you're, uh, object of the game is to get to the bottom uh, of the relic deck in order to win. So we're going to um, play cards and trying to get rid of these cards uh, as we go. Uh, and then you also have to get to the bottom of a villain deck or location. So in general, you have to escape with the relic uh, and defeat the villain or escape with the relic and escape the location. So uh, two decks have to go. Now you have to do that before you get to zero health points for the team. This is a team health tracker. We start at 12 because we are three players. And uh, we're just going to take turns going uh, and uh, picking different adventures as we go, excuse me, challenges as we go, try to pick those off and create stories as we go. So uh, first thing what we're going to do is uh, come up with our, um, our mission. So as a team, uh, we've been assigned something from... Um, uh, the, uh, uh, <laughs> we've been assigned uh, something, uh, but we have to come up with a little bit more details of it. So on the back of each one of these mission cards uh, are um, prompts for us to answer, to come up with more details about the Lich. So the Lich is a powerful undead wizard. Uh, it has a host of vile servants and wields fell magic. What is the Lich's name? Uh, Rashad, what would you call this witch? Um, uh, let's call him the the Dread Lord Maznob. Dread Lord Maznob. Okay. And Lauren, what does Dread Lord Maznob look like? Well, I think because he's called a Dread Lord, uh, he does have like a full head of dreads okay <laughs> he's got some dreadlocks going really long like absurdly long right um uh, and other than that like pretty menacing it. yeah it probably doesn't take care of them very well no definitely not that's yeah, the yeah. scariest part about them yeah scary maybe there's like little bugs crawling out of them when you kind of get mm -hmm. them really close yeah yeah, uh, yeah. uh bleh. that just creeped me out um <laughs> <laughs> and we've got the relic. So on the back of the relic, it says, the staff grants the villain power over the elements, allowing them to control the weather and conjure fire and ice. It probably has a cool name like the Staff of Endless Winter, but what would you call this staff? Hmm. Lauren? That's a tough one. Yeah. Yeah, the staff of I don't know, I'm thinking of something like like water power related. I mean it's got a lot of it controls all the elements, right? It's not just oh, endless winter. It could them? be like the staff of ending oh. winter, right? Uh, yeah. Did you uh, say ending or pending? Ending. Because it could oh, just like you. it could just be like <laughs> 
It's the staff that just says, hey, it's going to be winter almost. It's old. It's 30 the, degrees. The, the staff of buffering stuff. weather. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Uh, buffering weather. <laughs> okay. All right. And our location, the tomb. Uh, the tomb uh, consists of deadly traps and vengeful ghosts as they guard the ancient treasures interred in this tomb. What is the name of the tomb and do you know who is buried there? So let's first describe what this tomb is, is look, kind of looks like when you first walk into it. Like, what's the lore of this tomb? You're reading through your dossier that uh, you've been given, Lauren. Uh, what are some of the things inside that they say has happened in this tomb? Well, I remember reading that this tomb used to have, um, like it used to be a secret hideout. Oh, okay. It used to be like, uh, there used to be a uh, secret passage from, you know, different castles or different town, probably a neighboring town and people would, you know, sneak in here to do, you know, their dastardly deeds. Mm. So it has like lots of different underground tunnels to access it and from, from different locations. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Rashad, what, what's the name of the tune? tomb? Uh, this is, um, this is the tune tomb, T O O N T O M B tune tomb. Um, and That's what I just everyone imagine off. it. Yeah, it was, uh, it, it was, in, I feel like there used to be, I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking of the, the tune world monsters in Yu-Gi-Oh. That's never mind. I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> But yeah, there's it, it's really like cartoony. The traps are a little slapsticky. The uh, mm. like the, think Looney Tunes, giant hammers, port, like yeah, it, it's, it's the tune tune. Yeah, or like, are we in Tom and Jerry or in uh, yeah, yeah, we're yeah. like in a whole tune village thing. Excellent. All right. Well, um, so our mission um, that we've been given by the bureau is to um, get the buffering weather staff from the nefarious hands of the dreadlore Maz Maznob? Did I Ma Maznob. I, I wrote I wrote Mazmob. I don't remember yeah. Maznob. Okay. Mazmob. All we know is that they got some scary dreads. Uh, and uh, the the and we have to go to the Tune Tomb because that's what we heard the last uh, place that they were at. Uh, so who are we? Who are we? So when you create characters in the Adventure Zone, uh, there are these character sheets that come with the game, um, and it's super easy. You just fill out a couple of aspects uh, of your character. Uh, you could even draw a fun little picture here. Uh, and if you want some tables to help you fill in uh, your character, you can do so there. Uh, each character has special skills. So why don't we introduce our characters now? Who's going to go first? I will. All right. Go for it, Lauren. Hello. I'm Lauren on every other day, but today my name is Roscoe. Roscoe. I am the warrior of the group. Um, I'm a warrior. I should have said and also a human, but I identify first as just an avid reader. Oh. You wouldn't know that looking at me. I'm really buff, yeah. but mostly I read like adventure novels, thrillers, Anything with a weird Rube Goldberg esque kind of ending, I love that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I'm stronger against monsters, especially um, with my big muscles, but mostly because of my ability to do stunts. I'm always stunned. I don't just walk into a room, I backflip into one. And whether that hits a monster or it surprises them, like whatever's going to happen, it happens, and it's great. So Roscoe is just extra about everything, pretty much. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah, that's 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 understandable. Uh, I generally assist my teammates using my stunt knowledge, but also books. But not the knowledge from the books. I carry a lot of heavy ones, so I just throw them. If the stunt doesn't work, throw a book. How do you carry them all on a, on a mission? So like, what does that apparatus look like? Sometimes they are stilts because I like to be tall. Oh, very cool. But, you know, sometimes it's really lucky when someone has a bag of holding. But if not, I, like, choose. Depends on the mission. Sometimes I'm going to a cave. Like, I know some big, huge, like, encyclopedias or 
you know, my choose your own adventures are going to do the trick. Yeah. Um, sometimes smaller ones will do the trick. Just depends on the mission. Yeah. Uh, and then you've got this special ability called reckless charge. Tell us about that. Yeah. So, uh, before I roll a die to defeat a challenge, sorry, need to just, that's all right. This here, you may, um, spend your action token and suffer one damage to add plus two. Okay. So it's kind of like, you know, rushing in there. <laughs> I rush in and uh, do and suffer damage in order to uh, affect the outcome of my roll more positively. All right. It's like diving in front of a bullet. Just, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like I'll take a bullet for you, man. All right. Well, that's good to know. Um, thank you, Roscoe. Uh, we look forward to adventuring with you. Thank you. Uh, did you just... Did you just sip out of a pure balance like amazing mug there? Uh, yeah, this is from this is from a Comic Con. Uh, I just you know fit the oh, mood. Man. I do uh, have my bracer though. I'm all ready for this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Thank you. All right, Rashad, please tell us about uh, your wizard. Who, who is this Rashad you speak of? I'm Slim Riggins. <laughs> uh, I'm, a, I, I'm Slim Riggins, and. I am, I'm a wizard and a gnome. Actually, I'm a gnome and a wizard. I, I consider no, I'm a gnome first and wizard second. Ah. And um, I am strong against any magical challenge, mostly because of my cool, I have these beautiful blue robes and they don't actually have any power, but they make me feel good and strong. And I feel like I'm part of a team with my other wizards back home that wore my blue robes. So you're kind of like dressed for the job that you want situation. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I may not be a great wizard yet, but one day I will be. But I'm a yeah. great gnome, okay? That's that's what, that's what's important. I'm a great gnome. I'm an okay wizard. And I think the Bureau of Balance will get me to where I need to be. And uh, I, I generally assist my teammates with my arcane lore. Like, I write a lot. I, I, I don't know I, I don't know a lot of magic, like, in practice. You know, I haven't done practical magic, starring Sandra Bullock and Nicole Kidman. Um, <laughs> but... I, I, re I read a lot, I read a lot, and I'm, I'm, I'm ready for whatever life throws at me. Have we been part of the same book clubs? <laughs> we, we, we know each other in passing. I think you, you, one day you told me, like, hey, you should check out this organization, the Bureau of Balance. Oh, <laughs> right yeah, up your I remember alley. that. I remember that. <laughs> yeah. And I didn't take you up on it at first, but one day I showed up, and yeah, there, there we are. Yeah. Uh, so uh, what's, you've got a special ability at the bottom there called Battle Magic. Tell us about oh that. yeah, I've got battle magic. I've got tons of battle magic. And so what that does for me is before I roll the die to defeat a monster challenge, I can spend my action token to add plus three to my strength. Oh, Whoa. that's going to be great. Okay. Plus three, that's huge. Considering I only have one strength to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> so by default, you have one strength, but you have four against any magic channel challenges, plus you have battle magic. That's pretty, that's, that's pretty dope. Okay. Uh, oh. Hey, there's a third person. It's me. Yay! Hey. Uh, hi, everyone. I'm Tom. I'm Tom. Um, I am a senator. Uh, I am a part horse, part rabbit. Um, I'm really the first in the Bureau of Balance uh, to, to have that part of their uh, to a new policy of just kind of opening more doors uh, and very excited about it. Um, I am uh, just kind of known for being chill. Uh, I'm adorable. Uh, uh, and, you know, people who uh, I'm stronger against uh, a lot of spooky things because they're very disarmed when they're like, what is that? Huge horse, little mm -hmm. tiny rabbit head. Uh, <laughs> they're thrown off and I can kind of get them with the element of surprise. Um, and because of that, I've gotten pretty famous. Uh, and, you know, they're there was a poster series. I've got my own, you know, got like tons of subscribers on the social medias and stuff. Um, but I generally assist my teammates using my fame so I can like make some stuff happen for us pretty much. But I, I try to be gentle about it. Um, so I am really good uh, against uh, the undead or spooky challenges. So anything that has a, like any challenge card that has that little hand. Um, and my special ability is healing so at the end of my turn i can spend my action token to restore one health to the party so when if we don't have anything else going for us as we go uh and we need a little bit more health uh and i have my action token you know i got you 
Awesome. All right. Nice. So, <clears throat> uh, Slim, Roscoe, can I call you Slim? Oh, please, I insist. Okay. Slim, Roscoe, um, we've just been, Madam Director has given us uh, the um, dossier and are sending us on one of our first missions. We're going out on the pods, leaving the moon base. Uh, we're going to try to get the staff uh, taking it from the hands of the lich, and we're headed towards the Toon Tomb. Uh, and then as we arrive, we just come out and we see a storm of rats. Um, and we uh, notice there's some terrible weather. So there's like a, there's a, a swarm of rats that are coming. Uh, it, like it was really hard for us to even land, uh, but we just kind of fell into a tree anyway. Uh, and we're trying to escape the terrible weather. Uh, and we can't find the Toon Tomb yet. Uh, but we have found a creepy cemetery. Now, uh, on our turns, what we're going to do is choose uh, which one of these to uh, try to go after first, uh, which one of these challenge cards. We usually do it based on their point value and how much they might be impacting other things. This terrible weather card right here in the middle is adding two points of um, uh, strength to uh, the cemetery. So the terrible weather is making visibility in the creepy cemetery worse. And so in order to defeat that, we would have to at least have uh, nine points instead of seven because it's adding plus two from the relic, excuse me, from the terrible weather. The swarm of rats is just, there's nothing worse than a wet rat, in my opinion. I mean, you can have yeah. dry rats, even if it's a swarm, it's livable. But once they start, you know, floating all around and, yes. you know, that's worse. So that <laughs> actually worse. requires 10. Now, sometimes these have story bonuses on them. Uh, and if they will, I will point it out to you because um, that will give us a plus one. Uh, so the terrible weather does give a plus one story bonus uh, if, uh, if you describe what's terrible about the weather. So I'll go as the first player. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, then we'll just kind of go in order here. Uh, it'll be uh, Tom and then Slim and then Roscoe. Um, and then, of course, as I go, you can help me. So you can use your uh, action token uh, to give me um, additional uh, points uh, before or after the uh, uh, before or after my roll. Uh, but once you use your action token, uh, it is spent until uh, the team the next round when the team leader goes again. So you can't use it on yourself or to help any other player. Cool. All right. So um, that terrible weather is pretty bad. Uh, but one of the things I am good at is at, there's no, no bonus here on terrible weather. So there's no symbols that would give me extra points. So I would just have a two against that. Um, I could have a story bonus, uh, but I would have to roll a six or better. And the die on the... Uh, Bureau Balance die goes from one through six, three times. Uh, and then there is a uh, critical hit. So as soon as we roll that, if you roll it, it's automatic failure. But then also there is a, um, excuse me, critical, <laughs> I'll get it right. Uh, critical hit, uh, which means whatever uh, you roll, if you, as long as you get that, uh, you are awaiting. And if you get that, you automatically lose. Um, so uh, what do I want to go against? I forgot it was one through six. I was like, we got 20. We got, we, we got this. This is easy. I it was one six. <laughs> no, it's mathematically Oops. not. It's, no, not. it's not your mom. It's <laughs> There's 20 dimensions, but they're not all numbered that way. <laughs> This DC is cake. We got this. Oh, no. okay. um. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to go against uh, the creepy cemetery because it's just it's just my jam, you know. Like yeah. uh, Tom's just just like, all right, bring on the creepy crawlies, you know. I kind of take out. I have like one of those cross body bags, um, and uh, it it's um, and it goes across my horse body, uh, thankfully, plus saddlebags and other stuff. Um, so uh, I I take out. Um, and on the card, it says I get a uh, plus one if I'm searching for the entrance of the tomb. What is creepy about the cemetery? So uh, I take out my crossbody bag and um, 
I take out some special glasses. Uh, these special glasses, uh, they're just kind of like my cemetery look. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, gotta get that aesthetic. Exactly. Um, I just, it's just how I vibe on, on cemeteries, even when they're creepy. Uh, so I put those on and I just kind of look around and I, I try to identify what's the creepiest thing about this. And the creepiest thing about this is that a lot of times people talk about having whole hands in cemeteries that are just like walking around. What I'm noticing is that there's just fingers, like in um, uh, like wind, like windmills or like someone made kind of like finger puppets and such, or like <laughs> these things on strings that, that fall down. So there's all these like fingers falling from all the trees. Um, but everything has like a fine mist of glitter on them. It's so weird. So it's very creepy. It's kind of like both creepy and gross because it has severed fingers, but also a little glitzy and glam. So it's kind of cool. Um, so when I get, get back to when we get back to base, our band should name should be Glitter Fingers. Glitter fingers. Uh, it's, like, yeah. it's like spirit fingers. Like when, when I, I never did cheerleading or anything, but that's what they call yeah. them, right? Spirit fingers. You know, as the team lead, I just have to say to everybody, like, let's defeat it first before we call it our band name, just in case, you know, something <laughs> happens. Yeah. Uh, it makes sense. You know, it, it's just, I, I love the optimism though. Um, <laughs> I, I think that's what our team needs. So that's great. Um, so I have a base four. So on this bottom part of the, uh, uh, of the game board, I just like to track uh, what numbers I'm, uh, I have as a base. So I have four uh, strength against um, uh, seven, eight, nine <laughs> against nine. Uh, mm -hmm. So I give a story bonus. So that was uh, one more. So that's five. So I need <coughs> four or better in order to defeat this challenge. Um, should I go out on my own or should I ask for help? Um, now, let's see. now does my battle magic help you? Because I think the description said, wait. Yeah, I think I could do that. Uh, do you want to? I might need that. Yeah, maybe you guys should save your action tokens to try to get terrible weather because. Gotcha. Yeah, this is your cup of tea. You got this. This is your, yeah. this is your bread and butter right here. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. So I have a five. Uh, so I need a four or better. I'm going to roll my die. I got a two. Okay. So, right. That's not four better. Well, that is not four better at all. Oh, Those right. fingers are just really creepy. Um, so some people can help after the die has been cast. So question. Um, mm -hmm. Who's got... Uh, <coughs> so after the die roll, Lauren, you've got a plus one. So that wouldn't help. That would exhaust... Yeah. Pretty much everyone. So I think we, maybe we should just take the beating on it. Yeah. I yeah. Also have okay. After the die roll. Mm -hmm. All right. So we lose one health point, and I'm going to describe uh, what happened. So I just kind of go out and like take my sunglasses off, and it's just like I've seen you all everywhere. Just like come out, stop the game, and I just feel uh, what I think is an arrow just kind of going across and like scraping my cheek. Uh, but actually it's a finger and it was the fingernail that scraped my cheek. Uh, and it, and, and it goes against the tree right behind me. And I'm just like, uh, slam Rocco. Uh, I don't think these guys are fooling around. Uh, and we need to find the cemetery entrance slam. What should we do? Oh, well, first things first, we can't see anything in the cemetery outside of these fingers in this terrible weather. I think before we do anything, we got to, we got to, we got to try to get rid of this weather, get through this weather. Mm -hmm. And I mean, and you know, you know what the, you know what the most terrible thing about this weather is? It's that it's really cold. It's really icy that I can deal with, but it also, I don't know if you hear that wind blowing. It's laughing at us the whole time. Oh. I can take a lot of, I can take a lot of garbage, but I can't take rain and sleet and snow laughing at me while the while it's doing it but this this laughing weather is just too much for me to bear and i'm going to put an end to it with yeah. a spell i like to call um weather stops <laughs> um, <laughs> so how how many do you have against that i think that i have a base i have a one <laughs> okay so that you this have is to... not <laughs> this is not my strong suit but 
Okay, and we actually, uh, we can help you on this. And this might yeah. be a really good place for us to help. Um, yeah. <clears throat> I want to help out. Okay. There's now, only a single assist, right? Not a double assist on this one? It's a single assist, and I've already gone, so. Oh. oh, okay. Yeah, so I can either save my assist later and, and heal up, um, or Lauren can. Yeah, why don't you guys, why don't you guys do it? Yeah, let's go. I'll yeah. heal you up. All right. Or I'll not okay, heal you so, up. That's not my job. I will help no. you. <laughs> okay. I'm not taking healing from the warrior. I'm sorry. Wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, don't um, take healing from me. You can <laughs> instead. I will. In, I will take one of my books, and I'll just uh, start like alleviating the. They're not laughing at you. They're laughing with you by telling some jokes. So it feels like uh, they're laughing at the jokes and with us. And all of a sudden, Slim Riggins is laughing too. Wait a minute. This isn't so bad. This is great. We're all having fun, and I cast my spell, and the, the, the weather's not bothering me anymore. It's not so terrible. Let's see if that's the case. All right. You know, Wait, four. You, how much, so four I'm minutes? assisting before the die roll. Yeah. So you get two. Oh, so for you, um, so that's, that's plus two. Two. Yeah, so uh, and, three. and so puts us up to three, so we need four or better. Oh, wait, I did, did, we... did I get the story bonus, too? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you yes. need three or better, then. All right. All right. Slim Riggins, come on. Oh, hey, yeah, three. All right. Excellent. And now job. the weather's applauding for me. I can't yes. believe it. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> all right. I take a bow. Nice. Uh, and we all give you a round of applause for that. I think that was great. Uh, all right. So because you defeated this challenge card, you get the um, uh, the loot bonus here, and when you save, when you have three loot, uh, you can trade that in for an item at Fantasy Costco, and the Fantasy Costco items give you additional uh, abilities uh, to defeat stuff and just be cool. Um, so I'm gonna just count this. Normally, you would um, see this in front of each other if you were. Uh, playing the game together in person. Uh, but since you have one, I'm going to put this little um, chit on the on the one there so we kind of know as we go. Cool, great. All right. So we removed the terrible weather. The skies are open. It's all clear. Uh, and now the staff is displaying some fire pits. So <coughs> the dangers of a regular pit, but with the added bonus of being on fire. Thank you, fire <laughs> pits. Um, so that's fire pits. And so we are still got a swarm of rats. Thankfully, they've dried out. Uh, and they're just kind of like circling the edge of the fire pit as they go. Uh, and uh, we still got that creepy, creepy cemetery. So on the edge of the creepy cemetery, a fire pit has started. And our swarm of rats are still all around. It's now your turn, Roscoe. What do you do? Cool. So me, as a warrior, seeing these, you know, this swarm of rats, you know, kind of getting all over... They're coming up on my legs. I'm not really too happy about that. I think I'm going to go fight the rats. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah, rats. Uh, it says on the uh, flavor text, what? You're too good to fight rats now? They spread disease. You know, it's no joke. Uh, which, uh, that was a pre-COVID joke uh, on the card there. Yeah. Uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, listen. We already told all the jokes. <laughs> exactly. This definitely isn't one now. Um, so this is at an eight, uh, and it is a... Um, double assist. Double assist, and you also have four. And everyone's going to recharge their action tokens at the end of After your turn this. anyway. So we can just, uh -huh. like, pour it all on you. Tell us what's going to happen to that swarm of rats. So that swarm of rats... So I get ready because I've already tied some huge, like, at, like Atlas book. Remember those Atlas books? Like, yeah. big Atlas books to my shoes so I can, like, have quadruple times the uh, air service area to just stomp. Yeah. I'm ready. Nice. Oh, so they're, like, stompers, but they're Atlases. Excellent. Yeah, <laughs> and if you guys all want a pair, too, I'll strap some to your shoes and let's go. Yeah, I, I want to help. Um, I... I have four legs, so I already have uh, a little special interest. And I've got, like, this cool, my ear things I can kind of sense behind me as well. So uh, I, I'm, I'm in and ready, and 
I, I don't like rats. So um, I'm all about it. And I gave you um, plus two to your die roll. So that you're at a six. You would need a two or better. But I have a feeling we just kind of want to slam dunk this. Yeah. So, um, I, if I get mine at the end of the night, after this turn, I mean, I got to do that assist as well. Yeah. So I think I, I, at first I strapped the Alice's to my feet as well. But I'm a tiny little gnome and I'm trying to like get ready to do my stomping. But I can't lift my legs because they're too heavy. So I, I actually, I cast a spell to make my atlas is smaller so I could walk and yours really, really, really bigger so you could smash more rats. Oh, and I, that, that, oh. that's how I assist. I uh, enjoy this so much. So there's like a clomping sound and kind of the, the, the leftover puddles. Uh, we have this distant sound of like some fire pits going off um, and just this rustling of all of these, uh, these rats going on. Um, but those fire pits in the background, it looks like we're walking <laughs> out of an explosion while stomping rats. It's going to be oh. so great. And this I'm trying so hard not to look back. <laughs> this is where the is three it? of us are in like slow-mo with the fire behind us. Like Put your glasses the, back on. Yes. Yeah. And I'm just like, yeah, like <laughs> as we go. So uh, we're up to eight. Uh, so all you need to do is not get uh, that critical fail. And you got a one, but that's you didn't need it, so you're all set. There we go. All right. Um, all right. Crushed that one. Crushed it. Crushed it. Went um, down here. All right. So swarm events gives you um, one loot point. Uh, so I'll put that there. That is and one more loot point than I had last game. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, really? Oh, I don't remember. <laughs> I didn't get any loot last time. All right. Um, so we still have this creepy, uh, sparkly uh, cemetery. We've got the fire pits behind us. Um, and the haunting melody now. Uh, so we're currently tormented by this haunted melody that the <laughs> has given us. Uh, and, uh, and there's a story bonus. So if you go uh, against this haunted melody, you have to say, what's the song that's driving you insane? Uh, and you can't say Baby Shark, so. Um, <laughs> objection, I have a six-year-old daughter. I can say Baby Shark. <laughs> I can say Baby Shark. Oh. Oh. Uh, okay, so it is now, uh, we're going to recharge everyone's assist points, so we'll kind of move those back. Um, and we are uh, at the top. So I, I'm good against spooky things, so I can go either... Creepy Cemetery or Haunting Melody? I feel like Creepy Cemetery is just something I want to accept. It's, it's at an eight. They're both at an eight right now. So. Yeah, but it's adding two to the fire pits. It's it's like the Haunting Melody is making the the fire hotter. I don't know how, but it is. <laughs> it's rage. It's yeah, it's the rage. It's the underlying rage or the pyrotechnics of the movie video. We're not sure. Uh, so, okay. So I'm going to go against the Haunting Melody. Um, you guys will have to help me with a song that that just kind of gets stuck. Oh man, it's got to be um, "Africa" by Toto. I heard that oh. in the grocery store today, and <laughs> I did say. However, I walked out of the store and I said, "I said, I said to my lovely wife, I said this song never really gets old, does it? <laughs> it's always good. So, but it is haunting. It just stays in there. It sticks around." Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, I, I'm again in my little bag. I'm, I'm putting my sunglasses away after our very cool moment, uh, with the rats. Uh, and I'm like, all right, we got to focus in cause we still have not even gotten to the cemetery, but what if one of my bunny ears like twitches to the left and it just hears <laughs> dun, 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 dun. and my one of my hoofs starts tapping and I'm like, I don't even know. It's like something's coming over me. And then I'm just like, kind of want to also gouge my beady eyes out. Um, so uh, it's over and over and over again. Uh, so let's get rid of that song. Um, I have a four against it. Um, and so I would need a four or a better to defeat it. Um, uh, excuse me, and the story bonus gives me another point, so I just need a three or better. Should I try to do this on my own, or? I don't, I could assist, wait, what can I do? I could assist with a plus two, right? Yeah, you could. I will. <laughs> I think you should, because then we could, it'll lower yeah. that fire pit 
parts too. Yeah, All right. yeah, I, th I think I will. And I, um, I, you know, this is a staple in any wizard's pouch. I, I cast silence. You know, I just uh, like like a silicone yeah, of silence, and gives you a moment to just operate without that slot, without that. Dun -dun 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 -dun. just it gives yeah. you a moment, a moment of reprieve. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're doing it. Oh, it's a six. Yes. Great. I want my assist back. <laughs> it's going to take me a lot to get me away from you. I don't think so. Haunting Melody, you're gone. Um, I get uh, one of these, and uh, you used your uh, token there. Uh, and so um, I get one loot point. Familiar zombie. Oof. But not too familiar. Yeah, exactly. Well, <laughs> we don't know the story yet, right? <laughs> Yeah, it's very familiar. <laughs> like in a biblical sense, or yeah. uh, okay. So, uh, but interesting, it does give us a plus one story bonus if you answer in your story. Why is the zombie familiar to you? So, um, we've got a familiar zombie who's just kind of like meandering towards the fire pits uh, that are still there. They've gone down a little bit thanks to the. Uh, uh, that haunting melody, not just giving them recharge, but we're still in this creepy cemetery. Uh, Slim. Um, hmm. All right, so we've got the creepy cemetery. We've got the fire pits that are chilling off, they're cooling off a little bit. I don't, hmm, I'm not strong against any of this stuff particularly, but I think it'd be fire pits. Assist, might be whatever you choose. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think the fire pits might be my, the way to go, right? Yeah, and I can help. Or should I just go after this zombie? I can't stand him. Um, <laughs> you already can't stand him. I want to know. You know, so, it's, not, it, it's, it's not common for priests to say this, but go with your anger. Oh, yeah. you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm feeling lucky. Um, I'm, I'm Slim Riggins. I'm killing the zombie. All right. Um, All right. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Tell yep. me that assist. Um, and yeah. he's... So how I go about it, though, is a little unorthodox. But, oh, wait, let me explain why you're so familiar to me. All right, so this zombie, um, we, we went to wizard school together, and he was so keen on becoming a lich. And I don't think, clearly it didn't work out for him because he's a zombie now. He tried so hard, but no, he's, he did all the rituals. He did all the, he, he learned all the stuff, and now he's just, it, it, he couldn't finish the lich ritual, the, the ritual. Um, the and and now look at him. He's a, he's just a, a zombie. And I wave him over. Then I'm like, hey, um, Hank, remember me? It's Slim, Slim Riggins from school. And I'm standing in front of the fire pits. And in, in lieu of casting any magic, I'm just going to, uh-oh, did I freeze? No, you're <laughs> fine. Freeze up no, you're good. Oh. I'm going to step out of the way as he wanders over to me and try to get him to trip into the fire pits. Um, all right. All so, right. You, so you have a base one against um, this challenge because it doesn't give you don't have anything extra uh, based on the type of it. I gave you two um, assist points and then you got a, a story bonus for four. So you need a four or better. Um, uh, do you want funny my thing is, I'm playing well. a wizard right now in D and D, and this is how it really is for a wizard. Like yeah. you just one strength. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I can assist because it's my turn next. Uh, you want to see your assist, do we have or... the double assist? Yeah, you don't have a double oh, assist. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, you're yeah. right. Okay. So for those of you uh, at home, only one person can assist on any challenge unless it has a double assist um, icon on it, which is just uh, a hand with two little meeples on it. Uh, so uh, there's only one uh, that there's a, the only way that you would get any bonus points for that is the story bonus or if you're uh, good at uh, monsters or the undead, or if you had a uh, fantasy Costco item that could help you out. Uh, but this good, this good odds here. You know, I, I, I like our odds. All right. Yeah. Also, never tell Slim Riggins the odds. <laughs> <laughs> never tell Slim Riggins the odds because he just rolled a six. Yes. Nice. yes. All right. All right. Sorry, Hank. I named him uh, Hank. Are okay. you Are you sorry though? I am. I know. I knew his family. They were good people. Oh, he passed away. Oh, man. Okay. So we got the familiar zombie. Uh, you got one, an additional one for that. So you're up to two. And uh, we've just revealed a surprise card. So surprise cards Whoa. 
are embedded uh, in the deck, um, uh, in each deck. There's one in each deck. And essentially, they are the Bureau of Balance sending us some, uh, some help. So uh, we reveal the Bureau and its advice from Magnus. Bingo. Yay. Oh, man. Hey, Magnus. So um, this is going to stay out on the table, and it's an effect that's going to be ongoing as we play. Uh, we've learned a few tricks from Magnus Burnside's specifically rush in. So we can use this card and discard it. And when we do, we add two points to any die roll, but suffer one point of damage. Uh, and when we do use it, we have to answer the question, what was Magnus's advice? So we're going to leave it out on the board. Um, and the next time that we uh, reveal a surprise card from another deck, uh, we'll have to make a decision on which one we keep because you can only have one active surprise card out. Now, so, is that a one-use card only? Correct. So it's not an ongoing effect. I said this ongoing because some of those cards are ongoing, but this particular one is out and available for us to use one time. Uh, and so okay. when we discard it, we get two additional points, but we lose one health. Currently, as a team, we're doing pretty good on health. So, mm -hmm. That um, sounds very it, Magnus. Oh. It's very Magnus. <laughs> Super Magnus. Super Mag. Uh, okay. <laughs> so um, we are now revealing the Smug Apprentice. Ooh. Um, Sounds like fun. Yeah, it's a pretty hefty card. Cards tend to get a little bit higher as we go in the deck, but as we play, we're going to add more things to our arsenal to be able to defeat them, like items from Fantasy Costco and things like surprise cards, uh, cards like... Um, from Magnus. So the Smug Apprentice uh, is walking around the fire pits, just uh, like really like wondering why everybody was just could not handle this before. Like, where are my rats? Those rats were great. They couldn't handle anything. And they're just totally smug about it. Uh, it's just, just the smug look in the face. And remember, we are uh, still haven't even approached uh, inside the tomb, we're at the creepy cemetery. In fact, at this point, we should probably make it our strategy to try to get to the end of the lich deck rather than even dealing with the location. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> We've never been to the tomb. <laughs> no, we said nope to the cemetery. Listen, I'm good with that. Yeah, fingers, no thank you. We're good. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, Smug Apprentice or Fire Pits. Smug Apprentice is, um, you'd have to have a 10 for that. Uh, or Fire Pits is at a seven. Um, and there's a story bonus on the Smug Apprentice. So uh, Roscoe, you've just been sitting in the corner reading as... Yeah. <laughs> Trying to scheme. Yeah. I'm reading, about, I'm reading about how to do a dribble backflip. Oh. Browsing through your rat-covered atlases. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've kind of dusted those off. I tied them back to, you know, the, this uh, makeshift backpack I learned how to make in a uh, Caleb Cleveland novel. Um, so I see this smug apprentice and he just reminds me of like the worst kid in school, just like this, ugh, just like the smartest kid and just the worst. Um, and I think that with, I know this, it's like, we just got this card, but my base strength against monsters is a four. Yeah. Plus Magnus would be six. And then a uh, story point. I think we can like take this apprentice. Like, right yeah. So uh, you would be up to a seven because you have a base of four against monsters. Gotcha. Uh, um, and Magnus would give you an extra two plus a story bonus would be seven. So you just need a three or better. Now I do find it interesting that like you and Magnus go way back, right? Oh yeah, definitely. Like we, if, if he knew what I was thinking right now, like, <laughs> we would be thinking about the same kid. It was Gerald. He would just talk and talk all the time about how his flying ability and his, uh, his, uh, oh my gosh, we don't even know magic, but his magic abilities were like so much better. And like, he would get special treatment with the, with the professors there. And they would ask him like to have special lunches so they can, talk strategy about like how to get the best grades and we always hated that mm. well uh warriors stick together and i think that's 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 great so you've got a seven against a ten you need a three or better you're ready to roll how are, how are you going to defeat the smug apprentice how, what are you going to do um 
I'm going to, you know, channel back, you know, channel back to what I wish I would have done in school, what Magnus oh. and I would have done. And I think what we would have done is we would have taken our, like, big books and just been like, you're so smart, get schooled. And I drop, like, my oh. stack onto him. Nice. All right, I'm going to roll the die and you're going to... Uh, you're gonna do the the tagline again because I just kind of love it so much. Okay, ready? Okay. Ready? Go yep. for it. Guess cool. Oh, and it's a six. Yes. Oh. It really, it really was. I did. I totally didn't find that. It really was. I love oh. how this loaded die. Oh, Damn. Sixes all the time. Uh, take yes. that. Oh, there's nothing like just single hand. That's like a slap across the face on that smug apprentice. Oh, so yeah. that gives you uh, an extra two loot points to bring you Whoa. up to three. Uh, and you know what that means. I I got to Costco. Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, are you ready? Oh yeah, I'm ready. All right. Uh, haunted doll. <laughs> so this is <laughs> uh, <laughs> ongoing plus one strength uh, versus anything that's um, undead uh, or magic. Oh, so great. you're just gonna add this um, to your general role. So, and the uh, flavor text says, creepy as hell, she wears a bonnet. So people don't make fun of her hair. Uh, what are you gonna name that creepy doll? Curly Q. Curly Q. Beautiful. Uh, at any time, if you want me to remind you what your, uh, fantasy Costco uh, item does or what you have, let me know. Just you show me one more time really quickly? Yeah. Haunted doll. Ongoing. Plus Thank one. Thank you. Yeah. Plus one against undead. And and magic. Yeah. Spooky mad. Spookies. Thank you. Got it. All right. Amazing. Uh, we are back up to the top of our, our team. So that means everyone gets recharged. Uh, we take you back down to zero uh, loot points. Sorry, because you That's spent them all. That's fine. Haunted doll. Uh, but hey, we've got an undead <laughs> dragon. Oh, no. Uh, so the fire pits have just been working overtime. And <laughs> look at what they uncovered, an undead dragon. Um, good. Killing this awesome beast will turn it into a double negative. The scariest <laughs> thing it, of all. A uh, dead so, dead dragon. Oh, no. <laughs> so two people can assist on this because it has the um, double assist icon. Uh, nice. It is a spooky item. So I uh, have um, uh, a special ability against that. And it's also um, a uh, monster icon. So, uh, and it's at a 12. So, Tom, if you need help, I could use my battle magic because it's a monster, right? I could add plus three to that with my battle magic. Oh, I'm not mistaken. yeah, you can. If you're so, feeling up to the task. I mean, yeah, I, I'm going to take that. I mean, what I mean, something that a rare creature su such as myself, a uh, part horse, part bunny uh, senator named Tom, uh, we game recognizes game, you know, so uh, <laughs> a, a undead dragon, I want to take that on. So I take my right hoof and I just kind of like start like clanking against on the floor, like, let me at him, let me at him. Um, and so my default is going to be four against um, spooky item. And then you're going to use, uh, remind me to so battle magic, I think I use my action token to add plus three against the monster challenge. Okay, yeah. So that takes us to a seven. Um, uh, yeah, I'm going to double assist on this, definitely. Oh, yeah. All right, so what do you have? I have, so I think that, you know, and after reading enough about this triple backflip, I think I'm just going to, you know, <coughs> just, you know, like triple backflip, distract into a punch. <laughs> so distract him so you can flank and then just punch him yeah okay um so i'm gonna roll the die what we need here is um we're flanking him um uh slim i turn to you and i just kind of give you a nod um and uh on the count of three one two, two three three 
And wow. I did it. I oh cast cure my wounds God. on him because he's undead. Um, undead dragon is gone. I get three uh, points for that. So three loot You're points. You're in. So there I'm going a, to blah, fantasy blah, 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 blah. Oh, extreme teen bible. Oh, that's perfect yes. for you, isn't it? Oh, yes. Man. Uh, I get an ongoing plus one strength versus spooky. So my, my spooky item strength is now at a five by default. Wow. Um, I can discard the card to say something inspiring oh. and add a plus two to anyone's die roll against uh, an, uh, a spooky challenge. Is uh, that before or after the die roll? Um, that can be before or after, yeah. That's awesome. Radical. That is really cool. Uh, yeah, word up, dude. <coughs> Uh, so we're actually already at the last card of the Lich deck, and it's the Lich oh. himself. Um, oh, I don't want to fight him. We can smell those uh, Natty Dreads from here. Um, and uh, each time we fail to defeat the Lich, we place uh, a token, two tokens uh, on it. Okay. And its difficulty is reduced by one for each token. So it would be, so if we failed it, it would turn down to a 13 instead of 15. That makes sense? Okay. Yeah. So uh, I don't think I can actually defeat the Lich at all, given my current state. <laughs> I'm not strong enough. Oh. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah, all of us are, uh, except me, have used their assist token. Yeah. Um, the fire pits could be one. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I, I think I have to go for the fire pits. I, I I'm not I'm not ready to take a lich. I was able to take out that zombie, but not a lich. Um, yeah, I mean that uh, undead dragon took a lot out of us. Yeah. So as Slim is kind of just like he's really into this whole let's go straight for this lich path, and as soon as he sees the the the, the dread lord, just kind of immediately doubles back, and he's like. Oh, didn't we? Did we take care of those fire pits? We should really take care of those fire pits. Like, let's not get. All, let's not go in there half, half cocked. Like that's a safety hazard, is what it is. And he goes to try to cast some cast some spells to put out these fire pits. Um, and that's going to be a one to start. <laughs> yeah. Um, and there is no uh, bonus story bonus on this or anything. So six no. or better. I could help though. Uh, would you like me to help? Can help. Yeah. Oh yeah, um, please help. Yeah, I so use it. I'm gonna take out um, of my, my crossbody bag just like a little thing of of, um, uh, of water and it's special water that has been uh, blessed that uh, goes a long way. So it's like a viscous type thing that kind of can spray. Some people might call it a fire extinguisher, but I just call it. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I, I, I take that aid, and I, st I think I think out loud. I really wish I hadn't got rid of all that rain and snow and sleep, because that would really help me out against these fire pits. But this will do, and yeah. um, and I roll it. Yeah. All right. So you need a four or better, and you get another six. Oh my God, this tomb is so evil. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so the fire pits are extinguished, and that gives you another loot point. So you are going shopping. Ooh. Oh, amazing. Everyone yeah. was shopping. Yeah. Cryptic prophecy. Cryptic wow. Prophecy. Totally. What does that do? Oh, I'm taking right. notes. So this is going to give you an ongoing plus one strength. So no more ones for uh -oh. you. Oh, uh, And you can discard the card at any time to make a cryptic pronouncement to add plus one to anyone's die roll. All right, cool. Awesome. Amazing. Uh, I'm not lich ready yet, but that'll, that'll help out. Yeah, that'll definitely, okay, yeah. we might need all of our stuff for. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, oh, and now we've got some ice sculptures. So the Lich comes and, uh, uh, you know, the staff just likes to throw things in different directions. Uh, we've, got, ice. we've got some ice sculptures. We've got a story bonus if you talk about what do they, do those deadly ice sculptures look like? Ooh. Roscoe. Roscoe, me, I am Roscoe. Uh, these ice sculptures, monsters, <laughs> miraculously monsters. I yeah. like monsters, I like fighting them. Um, I'm not ready, I'm not ready for the lich. I say, hey, uh, 
pretty cool fire pits. Uh, zero out of ten on the cemetery. Gonna rate that on fantasy Yelp. Okay, bye. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go fight your super cool ice sculptures. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll do that. Um, uh, and you've talked about uh, what kind of ice sculptures they are. So you're you're at a five because you have a base of four plus the story bonus is five against the eight yeah. there. Yeah, these uh, oh, these, right? these, yeah, these go. Oh, it's a nine now. Oh, I wasn't even looking at that before. Oh boy, Again. that lit. Oh man, this this guy. I mean, it makes sense that his ice sculptures look like you know tiny versions of him in like different uh, outfits throughout periods of time. And they're cool. They're really cool. They're really annoying. Though. <laughs> don't 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 boost his ego. <laughs> Oh well, yeah, I want to crush it. I want to literally crush his ego here. Yeah. Um, I've used my token, so I can't use reckless charge. I can help. Plus, you know, at the top of my turn, everyone gets recharged. So. Oh um, yeah. Yeah. That so I can. Uh, what I'm going to do is, um, I, uh, I, I have, I empathize with you, and it, like you're, even though that you're an intellectual and you're like really into uh, books. You know your love language is is uh, is just force. So I come up and I just kind of back kick a nice sculpture, and like one little part of it falls off. Uh, but like you know, everyone knows that I mean business there. So yeah. um, so that gives us two. That's rad. Yes. So two or better. Feeling good. Look at you, Mike. That was that was pretty cool, man. So. Yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's beat up some ice. Yeah. Ooh, cemetery spirit oh. fingers. Uh, that'll do it. Oh, All man. Right. Mm, mm, mm. Let it uh, go. Let it sorry, go. Sorry, Mazmob. Not really. Mazmob. All right. Uh, so, hey, look. It's it's another um, surprise card. <clears throat> uh, it's tragic <clears throat> backstory. So instead of engaging a challenge, share a tragic secret from your character's past and draw a fantasy Costco card. Uh, yeah. Oops. I just knocked over the camera. Um, so this is kind of like uh, a turn uh, instead of having to uh, address a challenge card. Keith Baker mm -hmm. might have to remind me of that and put the answer in chat. <laughs> Uh, that's okay. gonna be. That's gonna be. You know, get ready for a tearjerker moment, maybe. Yeah. Depending on who yeah. goes. Yeah, I think. Um, I personally feel like maybe one of us should do it this round, so that we can get another fantasy Costco item and. Yeah. And then uh, take out the lich. Exactly. So we can take out the lich. And Does anyone that? feel yeah. like? Oh yeah, you can. Tell the story instead of facing a challenge. Yes, got it. Okay, thank you, Keith. Wait, does that include the finale? I mean, oh man. Well, it's not like we remove the card. It's just essentially instead of uh, going to a, a card. So it's it's essentially like passing on a turn. Yeah. Oh. oh. Does anyone oh, feel okay, okay, unequipped? Okay. Well, have we have we noped the cemetery completely? Uh, we can unless we there's something that we want to gain with it. Like it does yeah, there give could us be surprises loot in there or a surprise. Or fantasy Costco mm. items. Yeah. yeah. So each of us have one fantasy Costco item. We can get a second one. We have a couple of things down here. I personally feel like maybe what I can do is I can uh, do the tragic backstory. Get in there. Get in there, and then maybe. You might get an item that can help us out on to get, getting rid of the staff or getting to the staff. Yeah. Or, or I could just try to do my best against the Lich and at least take the number down a couple dots. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. It yeah. goes down when we fail. I forgot. Why don't we so, do that? That'll be fun. Question real okay. quick. Yeah. Um, if there is a challenge like the Lich that um, – or no, because that's not a monster. But if you had a challenge that, say, had like – you know, monster and spooky. Yeah. And you had, you know, a, your strength is, you know, like you have something that says plus two to my my strength. If it's a monster, 
and then something that says plus one to spooky magic if it's spooky, do you get both of those? Yeah, uh, like my sculptures. Right. Um, they don't, uh, that's so funny. As soon as that came out of your mouth, I see Keith is typing and then yeah. the ellipsis button like uh, immediately. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, Keith says, uh, yes, unless it's the same item, which does not clarify actually the, the question. Um, wow. So I, so the haunted doll won't give you a plus two if it's both spooky and magic. So you, you can't like double up on them. Uh, it's got it. Yeah. But other items do. But stuff. It can give me like a plus one to spooky. And then I have something else that gives me a plus two to my base strength. Yeah. Or yeah. A plus two to monster. Right. So on this particular example here, uh, which is the perfect example, you would yeah. get, Plus one strength, not plus two strength. Yes. Okay. Got it. Cool. But I could also use my reckless charge to add two to my yes, strength. Yes, correct. Got it. Yeah. Awesome. Good to know. Thank you. All right. Uh, I'm going to write that down because we should have it in our FAQ. This is what happens when you release a game. You uh, learn it as we go. You learn questions as you go. Um, and that's the thing with, you know, conventions not being around is that we would normally be wow. doing like hundreds and hundreds of demos and playing this game. Uh, so it's um, uh, it's great to hear these questions and, and even when we're live uh, to kind of clarify to make sure that we are covering those for people. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. So uh, what are we doing? Who was telling their tragic backstory? That's what oh, we were yeah. deciding. Tom, let us know. Tom, all right. Tom. Um, so y'all know that um, I I live a charmed life. You know, everyone knows who I am, uh, and uh, I I'm the only known uh, half rabbit, half uh, horse senator. Uh, really on this plane that we know of. I still can't believe I'm here with the Tom. It's like, it's it's kind of, I'm trying to play it cool, but yeah. I'm still really impressed. It's okay. Uh, you know, I'm just not human. Uh, so <laughs> the, uh, but what you don't know is that there was once more of us. Uh, and that is, uh, it was, um, I had parents and they are gone now. Um, they were, uh, they were taken. It was a, it, it was probably an early iteration of, of the Lich, uh, who, um, who, you know, the three of us were in the woods. This was our family. This is where we we're going, but it was, uh, but he saw them and struck them down with this, like, uh, lightning ice uh, that made them all break their legs and kind of fall underneath the bush and and take them out. And he put them in his own personal like zoo. It was uh, not good. It was tragic. And uh, I'm excited that I, as a Bureau of Balance member now, get to revenge my parents um, because this, you know, the villain took away everything. That's my story. You don't think that it's possible that he could have magically turned them into ice sculptures we just crushed, do you? Uh, Why would you mention that? There was no. I'm sure we can put it back together. <laughs> don't worry, we can fix this. Slim. Slim. <laughs> oh, man. Man, let's just have magic. Oh, I just oof. got a Narnia vibe right there, but uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, okay. Okay, we can uh, make her forget these things. <laughs> uh, so I will take a Costco card and Amazing. let's see what I get. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, the potion of healing. Yes. Yeah. Um, right. card, I can discard this card during my turn to restore two points of health. If you give a detailed <laughs> review of how it tastes, it restores three points of health. Now, we happen to all be at 11, but you never know the Lich. I've seen him do yeah. powerful things to people, and uh, so I'm going to save that potion of healing. Yeah, we, we could lose a lot of health as we try to dwindle his his health down a little bit, so yeah. let's hang on to that. Yeah. Uh, Ra uh, Slim Riggins, it's your turn. 
Limerick. All right, let's see. What are we dealing with here? What's what was under the the pits of fire and the statues oh, of ice that were your family? It's a uh, lot may or may not have been your family. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, oh great. Thanks for just keeping on bringing that up. It's it's going to be really fun being your roommate when we go back to the day. Um, it's a wall of ice and fire. It's an epic threat, but you may be disappointed in how it ends. Um, so it's a magic item uh, or a trap. Um, okay, so I, I, I think I've got a plus four. It's magic, right? I got a plus four. Oh, yeah, oh, finally. Five. Plus, I got a plus one because of my cryptic prophecy. So I'm I'm, I'm rolling in at five. That's a. I think I should yeah. just go for it, right? Yeah. Just, all you need is a four, or uh, actually, no, you need a five or better five because or better. the lich. Oh, jeez, the lich. He makes everything worse. You know what? I've been all? I've been slinging sixes like nobody's business. I'm slim riggins. All right, <laughs> let's just roll the die. All right? I'm gonna be like, are you sure you don't want? Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Madam Director always reminds us not to get cocky, but we'll see. Okay. So how do you approach the wall of uh, ice and fire? So I do like a kind of like, a, I, I, I cast a spell to sheath my body in flames and I just walk up to the wall, like I'm hugging it and I just kind of like press myself up against the wall and make a slim brigand size hole in the wall. That's what I'm trying to do here. <laughs> you just walk in the scene. Oh, oh, dang. I'm sorry. It's oh. Uh, what happened when you tried to do that? gone through that hole anyway. It wouldn't have worked. Yeah, what happened when you tried to, to push against the wall? Well, I mean, I, I cast out fire spell, and and I, then I forgot. Oh wait, this wall has ice and fire. This isn't gonna. Uh, this isn't gonna work. Yeah. I only did half the thing. I didn't do the other half of the thing. Also, <laughs> I used an illusion spell. This isn't real fire. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> None of this worked. I didn't think any of this through. But you uh, tried your best, and that was slim. the best that could be. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we pat you on the back as you as you. Now I'm just really back. hot and cold. Yeah. Well, we're patting you on the back because you're half on fire. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <I> <laughs> it. We're, just, we're abruptly patting you on the back. Burn uh, my blue robes. Oh. Oh, no. oh, that was your best one. Uh, Roscoe, um, what what are you gonna do? You got ice and fire. Mm-hmm. Um, which you get an extra plus one with your haunted dial, a doll. Um, it actually helps on either one. Oh yeah, spooky and magic. You're right. Spooky or magic, not yeah. both at the same time. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. Let's, I just saw him I just saw uh, my buddy Slim there uh, try to go <laughs> for the wall there. Um, and I'm like, hmm. Well, I, I find it interesting that <laughs> we're like trying to go against the, the wall and it's 10 and we're really avoiding the lich who's just making all this chaos. Yeah. It's your turn. Yeah. I can help. Oh, or at least you know one what? of them. Yeah, you know what? I think I can, I think I can go after the lich, and here's why. <laughs> I'm really angry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really angry at him. Um, I have a plus one, two spooky. I before I roll a die to beat a challenge, I can spend my action token, suffer one damage to add plus two to our strength. Yep. And oh, that, we have a pretty good, um, we have pretty good uh, damage, or pretty good help right now. So we're yeah. good. Um, yeah. All right. If anything, like, we're just, uh, de you know, we'll add tokens on there and decrease the. Uh, yeah. Energy. So you used your haunted doll and plus your base strength. Uh, and you also used your a special ability, Reckless Charge, uh, which we spend one health point and you get plus two to your die roll. And that gave you five. Uh, so uh, you, just, you just need a 10 or a better, which doesn't exist, but... Uh, <laughs> but if we fail... 
Oh, yeah. One in 20 chance. I have a one in 20 chance. Can anyone assist? Yeah. I'm gonna, I could assist, uh, one of us can assist. I can assist plus two. What do you What do you got, Tom? Uh, I can assist for uh, two. All right, um, so take your pick. <laughs> so this is definitely the most reckless of charges. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, exactly. Well, you know, I'm always uh, at a chance for for vengeance against my parents for 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 the love. Oh, of my parents. yeah, definitely. So, uh, I'm, yeah, I'm, for whoever did that to your parents. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm. I'm going to just kind of like side check you and I'm going to say, take off some of that weight, put it in my saddlebag. I got it. So got like, it. You got, you take off some of your, your books that you just right. carry around. Let's be at our best. Uh, you get the so, whole 10 volume uh, Caleb Cleveland uh, set. There you yeah. go. There you go. Uh, strangely, even though we did that, we still only have a one in 20 chance. Uh, hey, but even uh, failure is good. But even failure is failure good. Is good. good. So uh, we're just going to charge. We're going to charge right at the lich. Ah! Oh, ah. Valiant effort, uh, but we failed. Um, <clears throat> so we put two tokens on it, and it's reduced by one for each token. So, <coughs> excuse me. Got it. And as you guys come back, Slim is like, so what happened? What did he do? Did he try to turn you guys into ice sculptures? <laughs> Uh, nah, he just kind of like moved his ro robes back and like turned the other way. Like we weren't doing any damage, but we know we did a little something. We did. Yeah. Oh, we intimidated so cool. him. I intimidated him with my cool backflip skills. <laughs> <laughs> so we're at a 13 for the Lich. Uh, and, uh, we, oh, we take three or two health damage for not getting that. So we're at an eight. That's nothing. That's nothing. Yeah, All right. We're good. And now we're at the top of uh, the order. So we have recharged all of our assist tokens. Uh, and it's my turn. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and go for the, the Lich again because I have the Potion of Healing too that can help us if we need. Uh, so He's I, not a monster, right? Yeah, okay. I can't help with that. Um, so I've got the extreme team Bible that gives me a plus one to my strength because, you know, I've got the good word, uh, under my cloak, uh, as long as I say something inspirational, um, and my, def my baseline against spooky items is four. So that gives me five. Um, and, um, so everyone just gather around, take a knee, just, All you right. know. Uh, you guys take a knee, but I stand because I'm really short. <laughs> or, or. Uh, the last thing uh, my parents said before uh, the lich uh, had the uh, the staff and turned them into ice uh, was, is it getting cold in here? And <laughs> to this day, I just, whenever I feel a chill, I just think of, the revenge I'm going to get against the lich. Are you with me? Is it cold in here? Is it cold enough for you? If it's too Dang. cold in the kitchen, wait, no, that's not it. <laughs> yeah. So I think that was. It's cold, cold enough. It's cold enough. It's. <laughs> it's cold enough. <laughs> that's our battle cry. It's cold enough. It's cold enough. Uh, all right, so I'm at a five against a 13. Uh, anybody want to help, or do you want to save your tokens for something else and just kind of keep on? Um, I can give you I can give you that. Oh, hmm, do we have any monsters we're fighting? No, I'll give you a plus two. I'll assist. Uh, well, the roll. assist. I think we have still such a a low chance. Oh, so oh, there's no, there's... and then you can keep your token. Well, so, yeah, I'll, I'll yeah. wait. All right. So I just kind of like recklessly go against like this whole like it's cold enough and like I kind it's of cold enough. Before, but I just kind of slip on the ice uh, and things don't really work out. So we're gonna put another two on here. So now this is at a reasonable eleven, in my opinion. That's very reasonable now. Um. So uh. And we lose another two. All right, so our health is at six. 
Um, now, I can only use the potion of healing on my turn. And if we lose this another twice, we'd be down to another two. Do you want to wait for my turn to use it, or should I use it now? Um, use it now. It's, it's not going to, it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't go bad, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it doesn't go bad. It's a potion. Three so points is three points. We'll take them. I take out my potion of healing. I pop off uh, the cork cap with my teeth and spit it on the ground and say, and just chug it and say, tastes like molasses. And uh, one, two, three, and it charges us back at nine. Uh, okay. Crazy. Slam. All right. Sweet. So our lich buddy's at 11. This wall, I hate the wall. Don't Does like Slim it. Have I'm still at 10. Three coin? Uh, no, I don't think so. I oh, didn't yeah, do anything for a while. Oh, wait. How did that happen? Mm -hmm. All right. Either I like knocked it over and he was never at three, or. I was I was at, I was at, I was at three before, but I already checked. I cashed in, right? I haven't done anything since then. Oh, if okay. I recall. You're at Got three, it. so I just never reset it. Okay. Oh. All right. Yeah. I, I, I was like, done. we need to get you a card. If so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, don't worry, I'm getting there. Well, well, let's see. I mean, the the creepy cemetery has a, pl has a plus two, right? <laughs> yeah. Mm. But if you win this and it's eleven, it's three, so it's it's an instant. Oh man, I 11, can... let's see. So 11, I'm at a four plus one, that's a five. I could get 11, I could get 11. You could get 11. I could yeah. get 11. You could get 11. Okay, so I could four. get 11. Guys, I, I could get hey, 11. Hey, guess All what? Right. You can get 11. I could get 11. All right. <laughs> um, uh, is it I... cold in here? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's cold, cold enough. enough. <laughs> so, <laughs> Slim Riggins is tired of sitting out by the, the where the fire pits used to be, staring at this wall. Not, and he's like, you know what? I'm going back there for that lich. All right, this is for Hank, my old school bully that I killed earlier. That was a zombie. Your dumb apprentice that was bugging my friend Roscoe. This is for everybody. And he says it, and he looks him dead in the eyes. He goes, De dead eyes. He's a lich. He goes, I could get eleven. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> it's cold enough. Oh, and he does it! Oh, you need to yeah. know the run. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, wait, no, my God. No, that's 10. Wait, wait, no. Wait, wait, what wait. What was wait. I at? Wait. You're at six, and this was at 11. So you needed oh, okay, cool. a five, right? Wait, I was at five. I think I was at five. I have a base four plus one. No, I gave you two because I, I assisted. Oh, you gave me two. Yeah. Okay, I miss I missed my assist. Okay. okay. Yeah, then yes, I did it. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Make that more climactic, yeah. All right. So uh, you get three points, but automatically gives you a uh, Fantasy Costco card. Oh, Got a power right. glowing axe. Oh, man. That, that just smacks of magic. I love it. Um, yeah. Plus one strength versus monsters and creepies. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, so that you have a uh, glowing axe and cryptic prophecy, and because this is the finale card, we flip it over. Uh, we have defeated the lich, but we still have to get the uh, the staff. So the staff is out there, uh, and we still have to grab that in order to fulfill our mission. Uh, because we've defeated the villain, it's going to give us a uh, boost of strength. So it's going to uh, uh, take off one point for anything that's displayed on this card. So this is now an eight for that wall of ice and fire. Right. Oh man! Hey, Roscoe, you can get an eight. <laughs> I can get an eight. <laughs> you can get an eight. Uh, yeah, let's. You know what? Yeah, I can get an eight. I, I'm so inspired by the I can get eleven. I'm like, yeah, I can get an eight. I can get an eight. <laughs> uh, this isn't about dice rolling or, or anything, but I can get an eight. Uh, oh, I look at this. I look at this wall. I'm like. Thinking about all the cool parkour stunts I can pull on, I'm like, yeah. I can get an eight. Um, <laughs> Clear eyes, full hearts, can't lose. You got this. <laughs> there you go. Uh, so, but uh, Curly Q, my haunted doll is gonna help me out and add uh, plus one to my base, which is two. All right. So that gives you three so far. Um, and I'm gonna spend my action token. 
for reckless charge. Okay. Uh, suffer one damage at plus two to the strength. Okay. This is me just being like, all right. And I just try literally like go from full sprint to like running on the wall. <laughs> Trying to like really defeat this wall by like parkouring the heck out of it. What are you, what are you yelling while you, while you're uh, sprinting on the wall? I can get it in as well. <laughs> uh, you got a six. So, uh, Clearly defeated it, just oh. smashed it. Bam! Beautiful. Yes, yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> So that gives you another um, loot point, uh, and the uh, wall of ice and fire tumbles down uh, to show a massive fireball. Now, if you fail this challenge, you defeat it after taking the damage. So the oh. cool thing about this. And then we only have one more card, so we're almost at the end of the game here. Oh. So we can try it, even if we defeat it, uh, even if we don't defeat it, uh, it would go away. We just have to take the, uh, the damage. Wow, okay. Oh, that's Maybe a lot of damage, though, too. guys. So Massive Fireball, is it really just some place to keep warm? It really is, is the question. Uh, everyone's uh, <clears throat> action tokens get recharged. Beautiful. Um, I think I'm going to go towards that fireball because do it. Uh, you can get a 10. <laughs> it's been, cold, it's been cold enough in here, everyone. Um, yeah, hey, enough. hot enough for you. You can get a 10. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hot enough for you. You can get a 10 <laughs> out of context. There'll be catchphrases today. Oh man. Exactly. Uh, all right. So four, uh, so I'm a base of four. Am I a base of four? No, I'm a base of two uh, against, because there's nothing here uh, no. that's special for me. Um, uh, so I could discard my cryptic prophecy. No, I should keep that just in case. Oh, wait, but it's gone no matter what. You don't need oh. help. <laughs> yeah. Um, so why don't we just go for it? So massive fireball. Um, <clears throat> I'm just, you know, kind of saying it's cold enough. And I just kind of, walk towards it and I just try to harness all the power of that, that warmth to kind of turn it into something oh, that's so warm for all. Okay. So do you not want to just, okay. No, just cause it's just going to go away anyway. Anyway, so that just gives us a seven against seven, mm -hmm. uh, eight, nine, ten. So I would need a three if we wanted to just, but, but I think we're good on yeah, help. I can't even, I, I don't even yeah. have three for you. <laughs> yeah. One, I mean, two. But it's a double assist. It is, oh. but then we could take the damage. What, what could possibly be under that staff that could hurt us? I think we've right. got this. Uh, ha -ha. You speak now, <laughs> but I can't see. Like, oh, that's what's under there. Cool. It's an elemental colossus. Um, nice. Oh, one of those. <laughs> yeah. Um, so this is the finale of the relic. Once we defeat this elemental colossus. We can grab this uh, relic and the staff of buffering um, uh, weather and bring it on back to the bureau uh, and just put our feet up at the um, chug and squeeze and enjoy a cold one. So uh, wow. you could potentially heal up with your action token right now, or you yeah. wait and use it to assist, right? Huh. Yeah. It it's a hard one. Actually, I think we should probably do it now because, uh, well, it's tricky. We're at four. If we def if we lose this, mm -hmm. we're at one. We would be at one, and then we'd still have one more turn before I could heal. <laughs> yeah. We could. So we could totally fail miserably right here at the end and got get too cocky. But we can just pull all of our pull all of our every uh, all the stops out, or maybe heal. <laughs> um, <laughs> hmm. Heal, healing, healing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, hmm. So I'm gonna heal uh, heal everyone here, um, and so I'm gonna spend the action token. One health to the party. At least we have some buffer here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Huh. Mathematically, I think we could have done that a couple of ways, but let's just play. Cool. Um, we live on the edge. I'm, I'm not here to do the math. I'm here to kill the... Wait, no, I'm not showing anything. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm going to pull... Oh. So I'm at a base of four because it's one because of my cryptic prophecy plus one because of my glowing axe, which I love. Um, puts me in a six. And without an assist, pretty much have to get a 20. The, the, I, have to, I have to crit succeed here, right? Mm. Uh, yeah, so <clears throat> this is at a, mm. a 13 right now. Mm -hmm. uh, you're at a six, right? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Um, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I could use I could use my um my battle magic on myself, right? Yep. Yep. So that'll give me a plus three because it's a monster. Yep. Oh man, taking notes and learning rules. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> um, I can assist. Yeah. I'm gonna assist with this. Uh, All right. Heck yeah! Well, I'm just gonna be plus like. Two? Yeah, uh, yeah, that gives you a plus two now. I'm gonna give you a buck to act like like a shield from like weather, like any impending weather. It's like here, this is a good book, waterproof. Put it over your head. You're good. And isn't there a story bonus on this guy too? Uh, yep. What does the Colossus look like, and what is his primary element? Oh man, you know it's ice. You know it's ice, and it's like yeah. I'm not yep. saying that the Lich definitely turned his victims to ice statues, but definitely the, the definitely. elemental the elemental definitely looks like it's made out of victims that were made out of ice statues, all crammed together. Like there's some hooves in one part, and there's like bunny ears in other part. It's not important. Oh no! You, you get the idea. You get the idea. Shield your um, eyes. Read this book. <laughs> And um, my my bunny ears just flop down and like I'm just like huffing off to the side, but I get it. Yeah. And Slim Riggins looks away all cool and he looks at you guys and, and, he, and he says, he says, he says, you know what? It is too cold in here. And like blasts a big fireball at the ice elemental. And I guess roll it. <laughs> all right. And I guess roll it. It's a four. That is that that does it right one yeah. two three fifteen oh. Oh. Uh, bum, bum, bum. so how does he go down or they go down it's it, it's not so a, like it's what well, well initially he just wanted to kind of melt it but it kind of explodes the ice and the chunks everywhere and like there's ice shards flying and everybody and it drops us to zero health no um, and then yeah. uh. Like uh, he he does a cool little shield spell and and, and he's kind of blocking everybody. I mean, it, 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 I'm not gonna lie, it looks pretty cool. It's like pretty choice, just like ice shards flying everywhere, but like scattered around us, just missing us. Ah, oh, it's it, it's amazing. Um, and 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 sitting there where where the ice elemental used to be is the the staff of buffering weather. Nice. And somehow it's weird. It's almost like it was meant for you. Uh, to be the one that like finally took it down because it perfectly fits in your robe. Oh man, my beautiful robe, and I use it to like, like patch my robe with a little bit of ice and, and water. Yeah, pretty cool. So uh, we head back to base. We deliver <clears throat> uh, the relic, uh, and uh, I always like to end this on the end scene of uh, what's we're hanging out at the um, check and squeeze with a well earned beverage. Uh, what's happening in the final scene, uh, Roscoe? Uh, Roscoe is, he has kind of like a club. It's like an adventuring club that he started on the moon base um, of, all of, of all of these like other reclaimers, some other, you know, uh, business staff on the moon that, uh, you know, just get to stunting. Um, and so Roscoe is telling... Um, all these all these people about like and there was a lich and there was his ice sculptures and i did a triple backflip and i totally impressed him and then i kicked one of the ice sculptures in the face and then there was a creepy cemetery with all these fingers but it's like too creepy we didn't even go there and i'm just like <laughs> telling them this story and they're like and i'm like next lesson guys triple backflip know how to do it off of a lich it's gonna be excellent <laughs> Uh, and Slim, uh, what are you doing? I'm like, 
I'm like doing all these cool stunts with my um with my new staff that I that I Girl, got. That I, I, I guess they probably were taken away from me, right? That's yeah. The about Maybe they give you like a story. fake one that looks like it. Okay, yeah, I have a, repl- a replica. It doesn't actually do anything, but the magic's in here, you know. Um, <laughs> but uh, I um I, I walk over to Tom and I'm like, hey, Tom, before they took that staff away, I know that was hard for you back there, and you shared some interesting backstory with us. But I was able to I was able to use the staff to create a permafrost, and I I saved it from the wreckage, and I pulled out. Uh, I reached in my pocket a rabbit's foot. And I think it belonged to one of your family members. I want you to keep it forever. And I reached in my pocket, but the spell didn't work, and it's actually just like ice in my. Po- it's like melted ice, and I, I I thought I saved it, but I didn't. I felt so bad, and I'm like, Shh, kind of I shouldn't have said anything. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Um, I'm so sorry. Um, but here, here's the water. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, and 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 I'm just keep apologizing. I'm like, I'm so so sorry. So so sorry. It's okay. Good so- quest. Good quest. We're all trying to learn. We're all trying to learn. It's okay. Absolutely. Thanks. Uh, and Slim, uh, Tom, I, I walk away from, from Slim and I just kind of shake my head as this like uh, effing wizards. Jesus. And uh, I sit by the fire because I always like to be in the warmest spot in the room. And I take out of my little bag uh, a, a nail file. And I just start filing my nails, uh, but it's the finger that went across and uh, cut me in the beginning of our story. Uh, I have saved it, and it's kind of my like token of our, our epic win as our, our first win as a team. Is it still moving? Um, no, not anymore. <laughs> okay, good. Oh, oh my gosh. You just have a <laughs> pet finger now. That's I amazing. Yeah. Uh, and uh, cheers, everyone. Cheers, man. Yay, we did, did it. it. Oh, finally. <laughs>